Today I'm cooking restaurant style butterfly steamed fish with soy sauce. It's fast and easy to cook and it is very delicious. This recipe is for 4 servings. Let's start off with preparing the steaming pan. Put the pan on the stove, add one and a half liter of water, cover the pan and switch on the heat to medium. Allow to boil for 15 minutes. Now for the fish. Today I'm using tilapia fish, weighing about 700 grams. Any white flesh fish can be used as well. I have removed all the scales, the fins are still intact, and the tail as well. This is for the camera purposes. While I usually make 3 to 4 scores when steaming the fish, this time I cut it open from the head right to the tail like this. Cutting on both sides of the center bone too. By doing this, the fish can be opened flat. This style of cutting is the butterfly cut, which is how Chinese restaurants serve steamed fish. So I am going to marinate it with half tablespoon of salt. Sprinkle a bit on each part of the fish and rub. Continue adding salt all over the fish on this side. Now, lift up the whole fish from the steaming plate. Spread about 20 grams of ginger strip all over the plate. This is to help reduce fishy smell when steaming. Place the fish over the ginger and open it up like a butterfly spreading its wings. Arrange it nicely. The back fin should stand in the center and both sides are flat on the plate like this. Sprinkle the salt all over the top part of the fish and rub to marinate. Put about 15 grams of ginger strip on the top. Now the fish is ready to steam. Put the fish in the steaming tray. By now, the water should already be boiling vigorously. Open the cover and place a steamer tray on the steaming pan. Cover it and set the time for 10 minutes. While waiting for the fish to cook, we prepare the fried ginger and garlic. Put another pan on the stove, switch on the heat to medium. Add 80 ml of cooking oil into the pan and allow it to heat up for about 30 seconds. Add in 75 grams of ginger strips. Stir to fry it for about 4 to 5 minutes or until crispy and golden brown. Please do not fry on high heat as the ginger strip can burn easily. After 4 and a half minutes, the ginger is turning brown and getting crispier. This is perfect. Scoop it up and place it on the strainer. Try to scoop all the pieces left in the oil and shake it a little to remove the excess oil. Place it on a small plate. With some hot oil left in the pan, add in 30 grams of minced garlic and continuously stir fry it for about 2 minutes or until crispy and golden brown. After about 2 minutes, the garlic looks great and is golden brown. Again, scoop all of them and place them on the strainer. Shake a little to remove more oil. Switch off the heat and place our crispy garlic into a small bowl. Leave them aside. There is quite a lot of ginger and garlic infused oil in the pan. This will be great for stir fried vegetable or fried rice. Tilt the pan a little. Scoop out some oil and place it in a bowl, leaving about 2 tablespoons of oil in the pan. Switch on the heat to medium. Add 200 ml of water. 30 ml or 2 tablespoons of light soy sauce. I recommend using the non-salty type. Otherwise, please reduce the amount to 1.5 tablespoon. Half tablespoon of sugar. This is optional. And half teaspoon of black sesame oil. Stir to mix until combined and then bring it to boil. After about one and a half minutes, the sauce is boiling vigorously. 
Switch off the heat. Take the sauce out and pour it in the heat resistant cup. And put it aside. After 10 minutes, let's check on the fish. This is perfect. The fish is cooked. Notice that it is quite a lot of fishy water in the plate. We are discarding it. Lift it up with the steam clamp. Gently pour the fishy liquid into a bowl and discard the liquid. Place the fish back into the steaming tray. Pour the sauce that we have prepared earlier all over the fish. Cover the steamer and continue to cook for 5 more minutes. After 5 minutes, it is all done. The fish is well cooked and well combined with the sauce. Switch off the heat. Take the fish out from the steamer and place it on the heat resistant coaster. Sprinkle with fried ginger strips, crispy fried garlic, and some cut spring onions. And serve. Let's eat. Delicious. The fish is tender and tasty. It's well absorbed and combined with the sauce. While the crispy ginger and garlic complement it so well. So fragrant and so good. Enjoy. This is home cooking with Somjit. Thank you and bye bye.